Now it turns out that we can't hear all sounds. We can hear musical notes like C and A and D. We stop hearing sound if the frequency is too large or too small. So the human ear can hear sounds that uh, have a frequency from between about 20 hertz to about 20 kilohertz, that is 20,000 hertz. But hearing range isn't the same for everyone. So some people might have a different hearing range that might start at you know, 30 or 40 hertz and go up to 14 or 15 kilohertz. The other thing is that over time, the hearing range of people tends to decrease. So that means that when you're young, you might be able to hear 20 kilohertz, but as you get older, then you'll only be able to hear up to 19 kilohertz and then 18 kilohertz and so on. So sound with frequency that's too low to be heard, so less than about 20 hertz, is called infrasound. And we tend to need rather large speakers to create it. So these waves can be felt, possible to feel physical vibrations on your skin or in your body and in particular if they're at exactly the right frequency they can cause organs inside your body to vibrate and might make you feel sick. On the other end of the scale we have ultrasound. Now ultrasound is sound with frequencies too high to be heard so that's above a frequency of about 20 kilohertz and we can use ultrasound to pass through objects and bounce off other objects. And so this means that we can use them for medical imaging, like we can see in this ultrasound photograph. We can use it in sonar, which is a way of navigating using sound waves. Or we can use it in dog whistles, because dogs are able to hear these frequencies and we are not. 